Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina of Live, Plan, Love. And for this week's Plan With Me, I'm kind of using two separate sticker kits for my spread, or technically three, I guess. So I'm using the Simply Gilded sticker sheets from the July box, the March sub box from Paper Panda, and also the Mermaid Kisses sampler sheet from Little Miss Papery. And I also pulled out some deco sheets and other freebies from other shops because I felt like it went well with the spread. So I went ahead and put down the bottom washi first. I used the two washi from the Simply Gilded box. And this is like the top one is the like tropical ombre with the gold foiled leaves. And then under that is the cheetah print with the gold foiled bows. And I really love how this looked. It is a very bold spread and it's really not something I'm used to. But I figured why not make use of everything that I have. And I didn't know when I was going to use the sticker sheets from the Simply Gilded box again. And also from the March sub box from Paper Panda. And I really love how the two end up looking together because they're all pretty much the same theme and also like the same colorway as well. So I went ahead and put down the glitter headers on the first half of the week and then the day covers. I do go back after building my sidebar on the second half of the week to get that out of the way before I do my day-to-day memory planning so the i don't know if i mentioned this but the glitter headers are from a glam planner freebie and then the date dots are also from glam planner and that's actually from a very old kit i believe from maybe december that i use and i had left over and i'm glad it's always like i always find it lucky for me to find a an old kit with date dots that cover all the days in the week that i need them for if that makes sense so I put down a flag at the top corner and that is from the Little Miss Papery kits um, or sampler and then I use a bunch of deco from the Paper Panda kits in the Thankful Thoughts section. I wanted to put down this washi from the Simply Gilded box but you could see through it so I wanted to white out the lines behind it so I used my Tombow Whiteout which is seriously my favorite. I'll have all my tools listed below. I usually don't do that but I feel like um, for anyone who wants to find out like what tools I'm using, I'll have them linked below along with all the shops that I mentioned throughout this video and anyone on Instagram that um, I happen to mention for whatever reason. So under that washi, I used the full box from the Simply Gilded sticker sheet that says belief in yourself and I put down more of the washi from Simply Gilded because I love Simply Gilded washi. This is from the Tropical Selection Collection. Wow, oh my god. But um, I don't really know what it's called, but I know it's from that collection. Then that full box is from Paper Panda and the deco is from uh, So Cute Planner. So here I am on the other side of the planner during the second half of the week. I'm just going to put down the basic stuff, the foundation with the glitter headers at the top and the day covers. And I really like how I use the blue glitter headers at the top because it kind of balances out like the boldness of the day covers, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, so moving on to Monday, the first thing I put down is this arrow from uh, the Paper Panda kits and that was to mark my weekly claim for my unemployment and then I put down a half box from Paper Panda with a spoon and fork doodle from Paper and Milk to mark that I went to Mama Fina's that day. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I know they opened up a new one in New York and if you guys are from New Jersey, you guys should definitely check it out from Northern New Jersey. It's like a Filipino house of Seasig. If you guys aren't familiar with Seasig, it's not for everyone, but um, it's really, 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 really good if you guys wanted to try Filipino food. But yeah, so under that, I'm kind of like making my own decorative full box as if I had a full box for this section. So I use a l yellow label. All of these are from Paper Panda, by the way. I used a blank yellow label, then the little deco, and then I took um, a thin washi strip and kind of like cut it up so it forms like a little box, but I don't put anything on that. Then on a quarter label, I layer a record sticker from Love Shira. And then that today header is from the Simply Gilded sticker sheet. And I really love how they're all gold foiled bordered. And then I put down a Mandy Dreams glitter film slate to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that day. 
I put down a flag and then the empty box from, or a blank box, not empty, a blank box from Moonlight Paper Co. And I didn't like how I wrote out buy boxes at Staples. So I first put down this flag from Paper Panda and then just layer the stickers on top of that. And then I just rewrite the whatever I wrote down the first time again. Um, if you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this actually, but the pen I'm using for this week is from the July box. And I really love it because it's gel, so I thought it was perfect. Um, so on Tuesday, the first thing I put down is a to-do header from Simply Gilded and then a flag, which is also from Simply Gilded, but I wanted to use this mailbox icon from Paper Kumiko, so I just layered that on top of the icon on the flag. And I just used that to mark off that I needed to drop something off at the post office. Um, I have this sticker sheet of like Cinderella themed stickers, and I really thought it was pretty cool because they kind of serve me um, functionally, which is silly because you would think it'd be like for decorative purposes, but um, I decided to use some functionally, but I just used this one just to mark my laundry. And that sticker sheet I actually got from a store called Asia Crafts in Chinatown, Philly. I was working on homework that day, so I put down a pencil sticker from Hey Soul Sticker, and then the homework text is from Mandy Dreams. And there was some weird white space, so I just pulled out a piece of deco, which I believe that one is from So Cute Planner. I put down the... I'm pretty sure it's like the cool blue or pool blue washi from the Tropical Collection. And then I put down a quarter box from Little Miss Papery and layered on top a YouTube icon from Planting Roses to mark that it had a YouTube bench. I was catching up on parts two and three of the new um, season of Terrace House. So I put down a half box from Paper Panda and this Netflix sticker from Once More With Love. And to fill out some of that space at the bottom, I use more Simply Gilded washi because you can never have enough Simply Gilded washi. And on Wednesday, of course, I start off with the Simply Gilded washi. And this one I wanted to use in this section specifically because I wanted to bring more of the cheetah print throughout the spread. Um, so now I'm like kind of like building another little full box deco section but this one I just use like the bikini from the paper panda kits I do end up like adding little gold hearts from the simple gilded kit but I do that at the end when I add like more deco throughout the spread on this half box I first put down a GP sticker studio TN and then I wanted to use some of this hot pink like thin washi strips from paper panda just so I have like some type of separation um, and so I was really trying to use as much stickers as I could from these kits because I knew I was going to be using them again this year. So I first put down white out to white out like the bottom section of the dots and then I layered um, or I put down the half box on top of that. Then this important header is from Simply Gilded and if you guys haven't noticed I do pick up my Simply Gilded stickers like a lot because they don't actually fit um, from like one side to the other, it literally fits directly in between if that makes sense. So the left and the right dots of the boxes have to be exposed for it to be completely centered, which is fine with me, but I just didn't know that at first. And it was kind of hard for me to get it centered. Um, so I had to create my patient portal for my doctor that day because I didn't know how to do that to get like any results. So I put down a flag and layered on top a laptop from Clever Gal Crafts. Then I put down the yellow washi from Simply Gilded and then layered on top a fold laundry icon from Moonlight Paper Co. Then I was catching up on Rem Life on YouTube, so I used a YouTube icon from Planning Roses. Moving on to Thursday, I wanted to do this cool like layering thing, so I used a circle icon from the Paper Panda Kit and then this to do like arrow flag thing from the same sticker sheet. And I really like how that turned out actually, so I'm really glad that looks pretty cute. Then I wanted to mark that I tied it up that day, so I used this girl vacuuming from Willow Fields. I really love using her to mark um, when I clean and stuff, but I don't clean that often. That's why you don't see that sticker that often. But yeah, so under that, I used the Queen of the Jungle full box from Simply Gilded, 
And then under that, I use a Remember header from Simply Gilded as well. And on that full box, or I'm sorry, the half box, that is actually from Paper Panda. And then I layer the Netflix and Chill Lola Girl from Kina Prince to mark that I was watching Meteor Garden that day. Um, and I really don't recommend that show, but if you guys just want to watch it, check it out. It's on Netflix. I put down a flag and this Target emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had or that I went on a Target run that day. And I also needed to go to Best Buy or my boyfriend, but I, um, I went with him to exchange headphones. So I used this exclamation point flag from Simply Gilded. Moving on to Friday, I first layer down, I know this name for sure. This is the Electric Palms Washi from the Tropical um, Collection. So what I do is put down two strips right on top of each other. So it kind of forms like a half box. Then my camera cut off, but I put down text stickers um, that say New York City. And this was actually from a sampler that... Florence from Live Life and Create um, was giving out during the Wonton and Million Carnival Party. And I'm pretty sure she is selling it now on, on her shop. So definitely check out her shop to see if that's still available. And this asterisk sticker is from Little Miss Papery. And I use that to mark that I brought my mom to work that day. And it was like really weird how I was writing it. And then, so I had to white it out. And then when I wrote on top of the white out, it didn't come out good. I really didn't like it, but I do end up changing that at the end because it does end up smearing. Um, and I feel like that's because of the ink on top of the white out, if that makes any sense. After dropping off my mom at work, my boyfriend and I figured why not we just have a little date night in the city. So we ended up getting some Korean barbecue in K-Town, so I used this Korean barbecue icon from Happy Dye Stickers. I then put down more washi from Simply Gilded, and then a quarter box to mark that we went to Boba Guys after for some dessert, and that bubble tea icon is from Sweet Kawaii Design. And that was my first time at Boba Guys, and it was actually pretty good. I was actually, I wasn't surprised of course, but I'm very particular, especially when it comes to the tapioca balls. So I put down two blank yellow labels from Paper Panda, and I layered on top a Clever Gal Crafts heart icon to mark that we were just spending some time at Washington Square Park with our boba. Then I was just working on homework, so I used this pencil icon, which is from um, the Chloe Collectives, which actually just rebranded, and I believe they're cactus paper co i'm not too sure let me just check really quickly cactus oh yes cactus paper co and then i just filled in the empty section under that with some deco from paper panda for the weekend banner i used um this one from the little miss papery sampler and then since it was like kind of smaller I just shifted it to the left and then put down a heart icon from Clever Gal Crafts to the right of it and I really like how that looked actually so yeah I was organizing my desk on Saturday so I used a half box from Paper Panda and then the desk icon from a Cactus Paper Co and then below that I put down the remember header from Simply Gilded and I'm not really sure why I used it. I just wanted to use that print specifically. So I just used this. And it was kind of like, um, it kind of made sense, I guess. Because I started watching a new family channel on YouTube. And they're called KK and Baby J. And seriously, I'm so obsessed with them. So first I was watching an Elle Mills video. If you guys haven't watched her, she's she has very creative videos. So I'll definitely check her out. And then I found KK and Baby J from her channel. So I have been hooked ever since. So I like watch all their 2018 vlogs and now I'm like back, I backdated since their first set of videos. But yeah, so I use another YouTube icon from Planting Roses and then more Simply Gilded Washi under that. And I just wanted to add some deco. So I used a bunch of deco from the Paper Panda kits. I was watching the Nashville series finale that day, which I cried so much oh my god I don't know if anyone else watches Nashville because I only know like one other person or two other people 
in my personal life that actually watch the show. So I used a TV munchkin from Once More With Love. And then I actually didn't have my cell phone on me since the night before. I left it in my car and I ended up not getting it until Sunday. So it just felt so good to be unplugged. So I wanted to mark that with um, some stickers. So I used this like note sticker from Cactus Paper Co. And then a heart icon from Clever Gal Crafts. On Sunday, I used the Simply Gilded full box that says Born a Wild. And then I put down a flag to mark that I slept in that day. And then to mark homework, um, I just used another pencil icon from Hazel Sticker. And the homework text again is from Mandy Dreams. I had midterms due that day, so I was like really busy like studying, writing papers, and stuff like that because. Um, I didn't get much done during the week, so I used a quarter label and then the asterisk from, both are from the Little Miss Papery sampler. I put down a spoon and fork doodle from Paper and Milk to mark that I had Pizza Hut that night, and it was kind of like a pick-me-up because I was really busy that day with like schoolwork. Then I used the 5mm Simple Gilded Washi and then I just finished off that section with some more deco from Paper Panda. After this section I do move back up to like the date cover section just so I can add more deco and all the decorative pieces that I have along the top are all from a really old um, sampler from the Planner Junkie which she actually rebranded as well a while ago. Now she is Zona Papery, so I'll have her link down below as well. And after I get this deco down, I do end up using the gold foiled hearts from the Simply Gilded deco sheet throughout the spread just to bring in more gold foil. And that pretty much concludes this plan with me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a very, very different spread for me and maybe for a lot of people because I know, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people that I follow, especially on um, Instagram, everyone likes like the nice pastel colors, but I figured I have these stickers, why not use them? And it's summer, so I feel like one of my spreads have to be like really fun and bold, you know? So I really do enjoy it, even though this is technically like not the spread I would usually go for, but I really, really love how it came out, and I love how I use as much Simply Gilded Washi as I can, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you guys want to check me out on Instagram, you guys can find me at liveplan.love. I usually post um, regularly, and you guys can see more updates of my planner and when I'm going to upload another video. I don't have a set schedule yet. I've been meaning to get myself on a schedule, but it's just so hard when like life just hits you in the face, you know, and then like you're just all out of whack. But yeah, but anyways, um, definitely check me out on Instagram and that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!